Hey guys, today we're going to talk about ocean floor topography. So let's get started. All right, there are three factors that make it difficult to explore our ocean's bottom. They include crushing pressures, which is the ability to just completely demolish things underwater. There is the absence of light, meaning there's limited to no visibility down there. And then there are freezing temperatures, because as the lower you go, the colder it becomes. So, how do we know what we know? Well, a huge reason that we know the information that we know about the subsurface topography of our ocean's bottom floor is through the use of sonar. And it can be used to measure the depth, depth of the ocean. So, we find out a lot of information using sonar. Now, today we're going to talk about the features of the ocean floor, and we're going to get started first with the two labeled items. Notice there's labeled for A and B, respectively. One is the continental shelf. Now, the continental shelf is an area that shows the gradually sloping end or continent that extends under the ocean. And so, as you're going into the ocean, that's the first thing you meet. Now, followed after that is the continental slope. And that is the steep slope, which separates the coastal zone from the deep ocean. Now, looking at the next set of categories, we have a trench, which represents a long, narrow, steep-sided depression where one crustal plate sinks beneath another. Next, we have the mid-ocean ridge, labeled by letter D, and that's an undersea mountain chain where new ocean floor is produced. Next we have F and G respectively. F is labeled as a seamount, and a seamount is a volcanic mountain on the ocean floor which does not break the water surface. So it's an underwater mountain, if you will. And letter G is the abyssal plain, which is basically a large flat area of the deep ocean floor and it just it can go on and on and on of just being flat next for letter e we have a volcanic island now this is an island formed when molten material reaches earth's surface through a weak crust area piling above the ocean surface and so let's talk about some of these ocean floor features now, the deepest oceanic trench, which we understand a trench is kind of a deep area underwater, is the Mariana Trench. And the Mariana Trench extends 36,198 feet down. So that's pretty low down into uh, the ocean. Now, as I mentioned, another influence that affects the ability to see down below is the amount of intense pressure. Now, the water pressure at the deepest point in the ocean is more than eight tons per square inch. Now, translating that, that will be the equivalent to one person trying to hold 50 jumbo jets. So let's just say we can't go underwater anytime soon. Next, you have the tallest mountain in the ocean. That is represented by the Mauna Kea in Hawaii. And it's estimated to be about 33,474 feet from base to peak. Now, interestingly enough, that's larger than Mount Everest, but it's an underwater mountain. So, of course, it represents the tallest mountain, but it's the tallest mountain in the ocean. Now, the Mid-Ocean Ridge is the longest mountain chain in the world. It extends almost 40,000 miles wide. And again, that's a ridge, which we spoke about what a ridge is earlier. Now, here's just kind of a general map of the Pacific underwater. And again, I need to reiterate that much of the information that we know is through the use of sonar. Now, this completes our presentation on the water subsurface topography.